We're still on Alderaan right now. I mean, the guy hasn't even got up yet for his fight. A couple chapters for that. Probably not till like chapter 50 or something, maybe even more. But I still want to talk about Selene because the Dragon Gods right now, you know, we saw Mercephobia and he's, you know, his status is kind of in mystery right now. The can use his power or not. Ignea is an eventual case. You know, we know he wants to fight Natsu. Alderaan's sleepy. Viernes, not even Mercephobia really knows anything about. He's a full mystery. But the dragon, I think, that is the most uh, connectable to other sources right now is Selene. Like, even if we didn't see Ignea, Mercephobia, or Alderaan, if we just got some of the normal info uh, about the Dragon Gods, I think Selene is the one that you can really connect with the most. Um, th there's a lot in the series that you can really look at and kind of get a gist of a better character. And we did get the silhouettes, obviously, in Chapter 200 Years Quest. We saw the silhouettes for the Dragon Gods. But, I mean, really, so far, none of them have fully fit the theme. Or, I guess, fit the uh, fit the fit this whole silhouette design. I mean, really, look at them like, okay, you can kind of tell the one in the middle. It's a little bit fiery. Oh, Igne, obviously, the one with the big horn like that. Oh, it's Mercophobia. I mean, there's... They, they, they relatively are close to that, but not fully. I mean, really, when you... When you put the silhouette, the entire point is like, maybe I want to change the designs a little bit before, you know, they fully come out. I mean, look at like, uh, you know, other times, like when the Erastion Saints was first shown, some of the Grimoire Heart, uh, the, the Spriggan 12. Designs can easily shift at any point before they officially come on screen and whatnot. But with Selene, there are things that we do know that we can really kind of connect. We know that, you know, if you look at the description for how moon dragon powers work and how fairy glitter works you know they're both gathering power from you know the celestial bodies you know the stars the moon the sun and that uh that carries over into connecting you to each other whether or not like fairy glitter is going to have some origin in relation to moon dragon powers like maybe you know whoever created the first spell uh, I, mean, I assume it's Mavis. We don't know if Mavis learned another spell and then advanced it into Fairy Glitter, similar to what she did with Law to make it Fairy Law. But the whole description of them, you know, they, they could easily kind of tie to each other. And if there was some explanation like, oh yeah, she took the concept of how Moon Dragon powers work and turned it into, uh, you know, turned it into its own magic. Or uh, Stellanium, because if you've seen the Dragon Cry movie, which is canon, the Stellenium material, it's like harder than diamonds. It's like this crystal that will absorb sun, moon, and, st and uh, starlight. Just, you know, all the stuff from space. Absorb it and store its energy within there. And the big bad guy of that movie, you know, you had Animus, who was essentially a Stellanium dragon. But, I mean, you can look at the material on him. It doesn't mean that's like exactly what kind of dragon he is because you know when he uses his roar it's essentially that same big kind of like almost rainbow like kind of crystal like aurora borealis like energy that he shot out with his you know with his breath attack and that's what i imagine you know, you'd get with something like a moon dragon because uh, again he's covered in this crystal but what is his what is his breath then it's the energy within it it's star moon and uh you know sun energy it's just this big, I, I don't want to say cosmic breath, more like celestial energy breath, you know, and that all like in in the set. Plus, if you look at, uh, it's obviously not fairy tale, but it is Hiromashima, that being the Mio Galuna, which is an elder dragon that he designed for Monster Hunter. And I know Hiromashima, you know, he, he's obsessed with Monster Hunter, he loves the Monster Hunter games. And it could easily end up at least maybe not the design, maybe an aspect of it, or maybe like part of the design will be in the at arc. Like maybe there'll be more moon dragons. Maybe, you know, that would be really cool if it's like, well, there are moon dragons because they've just fled, you know, flew to the moon or something crazy um, to hide against Acnologia. And maybe we'll get them somewhere like this. I mean, this is an amazing design. I mean, both he and Animus have fantastic designs. Here machine is dragon search is fantastic. But as it were, Celine, I assume Celine is female because there's going to be a token female out of them. There's always there's always the one out, as well as Celine is. Uh, I don't remember which which mytho or I guess which mythology, which culture, but it's a, a the goddess of the moon, which again ties to the you no know, the this character being a moon dragon. But 
as it is now i just wanted to put that kind of like idea out there of the way that it can exist in this earth. and there's there's other stuff that has to do with the moon we know the moon is a large mass of magic we know that moon drip is from focusing like uh starlight or not starlight moon energy like highly uh and condense it to almost you know well to a liquid and it it has the power to dispel other magics as you know it was able to work on uh, ice shell you know we saw like the original one that uh leon was using having that big beam come down and then the treasure hunters managed to get like a liquefied version of it and, you know just extract of moon drip but the dragons right now you know again very mysterious there there's not a whole lot we can really get out of the contents for the ones we haven't seen but i i, I think that there's a sufficient enough set up in the series that we can kind of get a gist about what Selene is going to look like. What Selene is going to... I mean, even if you look at this picture, which I think... I think the tablet that has the dragon gods on them is more accurate to their design than the silhouettes. I mean, I think the silhouettes are going to be somewhat set up to be what they look like. But I'm guessing that the, uh, the tablet is going to be much closer to what he's going to have. I mean, that... The silhouette is pretty crazy. Like it's got like this big weird like blade wings, and it's got a halo, and a very big like crescent moon tail. It, it's very interesting. I'm hoping it still sticks close to that where it's very weird. Like it, I think it's gonna either fall towards this, uh, fall towards something like Animus and the Mioga Luna, or just you know screw it and have that weird big kind of like twisted space angel, kind of like the moon presence from Bloodborne. Just have that as a dragon and do something uh, terrifying. But other than that, I, I think that we will find out relatively soon. I mean, I can't say like, not like next week, uh, probably within the next 10 chapters, maybe. I mean, again, that's a little hard. I mean, like, look at this design versus the, the silhouette. I mean, it's, it's vastly different. I, I, the one thing that I'm hoping is very similar are the blade wings, but gauge, gauging from this, that that will stick. You know, it's very set significance between them those you know big kind of like uh offset i want to say uh, this kind of like almost tendril like almost like scimitar like extensions of her wings but comment below tell me your thoughts are on this i mean it's i would like it for one because i think it would be really cool to see like a connection between like other dragons like with Mercephobia, we didn't really see much of, you know, we don't really know a lot about water dragons. I mean, we saw uh, Reverie, uh, hard to pronounce, some of, some of their names. Uh, Levely, you know, the, the water dragon from back in, uh, from back in the Grand Magic Games arc. I know I can remember like Zirconis and, uh, you know, my boy Scissor Runner. Cool as, cool in the ass name, really cool design. I, I it's always funny to me, like, you know, with, with uh, some characters you know you get their names some of the smaller ones you can't get their names you maybe forget at times but like someone like him badass name stuck instantly but when we have dragons uh, of elements and whatnot you know us seeing that they have a consistency to like the breed and obviously there's gonna be variations like fire dragons you have straight fire like igneal and ignea which you know look similar different traits obviously and then you have like hellfire like atlas flame still fire but offset and obviously the ocean and water dragons uh, you know the very different but i would like it if just there's if the crystals are on like if stellanium is just on selene doesn't even have to be the exact same shape it just has those crystals on her i'll be perfectly okay with that because that will be you know something to really kind of like follow up and then we'll get maybe like a little like note flashback to dragon cry just like a uh, little bit of like oh now it's somewhere to animus but anyway comment below Tell me your thoughts are about this and uh really push your thumbs up the video but from the like button subscribe button and check out my other videos but that appreciate everyone who's already subscribed and i thank you all for listening bye